Well, I'm starting a um, new project here. I'm going to make a uh, 19th century uh, clerk's desk, uh, stand-up clerk's desk. And um, there are literally hundreds of designs uh, out, uh, out there on the Internet. So I don't want to make a, a too large of a one. And uh, there's uh, the bottom one in this particular photograph is uh, too large. Uh, the uh, one up there on the left is too small. And uh, the other one is about right. So um, I'm making a full-size drawing here of what I think uh, it should uh, look like. And then um, I made a uh, very rough prototype of what it might look like to see if uh, the height and so forth was uh, what I wanted to do. And this is a little wider then I'm going to make uh, I'm going to, going to make it a little bit narrower uh, because I thought it was too too wide. So uh, I'm going to make it out of curly maple. Uh, so it should be a good looking piece. So I'm going to start with the uh, legs and the base. Well, I've got the um, four legs here milled to uh, a little under two inches. So. Um, I gotta chop them to length now at 32 and a half and then taper them. <clears throat> so that's the next step. The uh, taper jig uh, all set up here to cut uh, two sided tapers here. So uh, we'll give it a shot and see how it goes. I took out the cut off uh, from the first cut and slipped it underneath here to keep it square. And then as I uh, completed the second cut, uh, of course, it, it fell off. So uh, there you have it. This is the front left. So when you look at it this way, it's tapered from there out to full size. And then on the side, again, it's tapered from uh, front to towards the rear. So three more to go. Well using my uh, tenoning jig uh, I put uh, one inch tenons on uh, the four sides so now I've got to put some mortises uh, into the uh, legs that I made yesterday. So I'm morticing the uh, legs now with a 3 8 inch hollow chisel mortiser. Um, you could of course drill it and chop them out by hand but I happen to have the the tool here so I'm using it so I've got uh, a few mortises to cut all the way around well I've put the tenons on uh, all of the the pieces and um, now what I've done is marked them here on the top of each of the pieces to match the uh, mortises that um, and now I'm going to uh, shave them a little bit to, so that they fit into the uh, mortises. Well, now I'm uh, fitting the tennis, <coughs> tenons to the mortises, and uh, I leave them a little bit uh, thick. And uh, you have to shave some off here. And I'm using my uh, low angle lock point here. Put a little chamfer on the edge. <coughs> Take a little each side. Let's 
since they're marked. This one's number two and it goes into the number two mortise. Uh, it's still pretty tight. I probably could whack it in there, but I think I'll take a little more off so that it goes in. The glue swells the joint too. So I took a little more off here with the block plane. the assembled uh, frame and uh, I've got to put in some stretchers down here there's one that goes across each side uh, down there at about six inches high and then uh, there'll be a stretcher in the middle too but it's pretty firm now and uh, so I think it'll be plenty solid I guess I should clean up those uh, legs take the burn marks off of there. It looks pretty good. Well I thought I'd clean up the burn marks on the legs so when I tried uh, hand planing it first uh, it's so figured uh, that it just about tears out no matter what I do to it. I don't have any high angle uh, planes which uh, would probably help with the uh, figure but I do have a cabinet scraper here. And uh, you can see it's doing a pretty good job of uh, scraping off the uh, burn marks and it's not chipping out. Looks like I could use a little sharpening, although we're picking up some curlies here. And it's not tearing. So that's a good thing. So I guess uh, we'll be using the, the cabinet scraper. There they are, all cleaned up, uh, so now I'm going to work on the center stretchers. Yeah. 